Hey guys, just thought I'd give you an update on this uh, peristatic pump auto top up and uh, dosing system. Uh, what I've used, as you probably recall from the last video, is uh, the, the V2 auto top up from uh, TMC, and uh, all I've done is uh, modify the cable that would normally go to the silly little submersible pump that it comes with. And what I've done is run that into uh, this unit and that positive and negative feed, um, which is 12 volts, simply energises two relays. Now I've lashed this up for the moment. Um, once I'm happy that everything is as required, I'll mount the uh, two relays that you can see here on, uh, on circuit boards, um, but I'm not sure you know I might change the voltage to the pumps because they've got 12 volts on them at the moment I might reduce that to 9 uh, so it's all a bit of a temporary lash up as uh, as usual um, but the relays I've used are 12 volt relays and you have if you apply plus and negative here the relays will energize and these if that will focus and these two points are joined together um, so what you have is live coming in here and when there's 12 volts across you know applied to this side here uh, the relay is energized and the contacts close and the live supply that's on this pin will then flow through and come out the other side um, so what I have done is on the right uh, sorry on the left of this relay that 12 volt uh, comes in from the TMC it's then linked to this second relay just simply by the blue and brown wires there I've just siliconed these up so uh, when I'm messing around I don't touch anything uh, that's live uh, easily pulls off uh, you know uh, the other modifications and PCB mounting that will be done in the in the future so simply when uh, when the floats are in the down position 12 volts goes to the relay uh, and that energizes both relays at the same time I have then got two cables plugged into the mains they go to the sockets now they should have been two individual uh, single sockets but they'd run out of stock so I've had to fit a double one what I've done is uh, instead of connecting the live wire to the socket I've broken that out and you'll see the second cable there uh, comes out and goes into the back of the unit the live is then applied to the top connection of the switch the middle second connection uh, I've used the blue wire and that takes the live back out to that socket where it is actually connected to the correct socket pin if that makes sense and then because these have a neon uh, the neon indicator the bottom uh, is uh, just connected to allow that to uh, to come on so when uh, that is activated the relays energize that allows the mains to come uh, through the relay, through the switch, and back out to the socket, uh, which obviously then uh, allows the other 12 volt supply, which you'll see in both sockets, to be energized. And then the 12 volts is fed directly, if I can get this on camera, or directly to the pumps themselves. And the reason I used the uh, switches here was just to uh, be able to override things for doing, you know, when you're doing water changes and uh, things like that. Uh, everything just comes through these two uh, grommets at the back, like that. Uh, this one's not done up yet. I've just uh, got to neaten those cables up and then do that up. Uh, so, as I say, when the that pump uh, that float is obviously already down, the second one also has to be down like that. And uh, when that is down, you'll hear the relay click. Hang on. 
let's get that in a better position. There we go. So that's now wanting to pump water. The, the level has gone down. You heard the relay click. Normally these would be on. I'll just put that one side on at the moment. You can see the pump's working and it's literally just dripping out in a fast drip some uh, RODI or uh, calc, whichever way it's connected up. So if I wanted to, I could have uh, this manually switch. So if I wanted it to top up during the night with calc on the left hand side, I would just have that turned on. If I wanted it to top up with both, Calco and RODI, um, then you can obviously have both pumps on. And if I wanted just RODI, I can turn the other one side off and just leave that side running. Um, and that's about it. I could fit timers uh, to those mains sockets. So I could have the calc side only available at night uh, and the RODI one you know, all the time. I haven't decided, but the, the options are all there. They're all available depending on you know, how, uh, how I want to use this in the end. I might turn these pumps around the other way. Uh, it's quite this flexible tubing is, uh, is very flexible and I don't want that to fall over and uh, kink. One obviously has to go down to your reservoir of uh, whatever solution you're dosing with and the other one needs to go up to the tank. Uh, so yeah, I don't know whether I need to turn these so the pipes are facing down. One way or the other, one of the pipes is going to be you know, either kinked down or kinked up to get to the tank. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. As I say, all, this is all adjustable. If I don't want that flow uh, rate, I can uh, reduce the uh, voltage to the pumps and uh, obviously this all needs making safe and neatening up properly before it's uh, you know really finished but I just wanted to give you an idea of uh, you know what you can do again I've left masses of uh, masses of cable uh, just because I'm not entirely sure how this will uh, well, this will end up. But there's plenty of uh, cable on all the bits to uh, route wherever you want. And uh, that's pretty much it really. Um, hoping that will do the job. There seems to be quite a difference between uh, on and off. So at the moment that is off and fully topped up. And if you watch how much that moves. I guess it's a few millimetres of uh, drop in water level, so it's probably perfectly acceptable. And that's it really. Just wanted to update you on that one. Uh, parts, really not very expensive at all. I think the pumps are about £6. Switches a couple of pounds for four. Uh, relays I had knocking around. Cable, I've got this black rubber cable in stock most of the time. Um, just had to buy the the sockets and I've just used some power supplies um, that I had knocking around. I did buy two uh, power supplies to match and they're up, uh, up there but I uh, decided just to use some ones I had knocking around and keep the more powerful ones for other for other uses. Um, so yeah that's it. hope uh, that might be useful to someone and uh, obviously I'll let you know how this all pans out. Um, whether it's uh, doing the job I need it to do properly or uh, or not. So yeah, thanks for thanks for what. Sorry, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.